Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would do a release review, and yes, a giveaway, of the American Tier 7 Premium Battleship, the USS Florida. Now, in World of Warships, the USS Florida is a Tier 7 Premium U.S. Battleship, and yes, it is a paper ship. She is what the North Carolina class of battleships were supposed to be before they were upgunned to 406 millimeters in response to Japanese battleship construction. The USS Florida has three times four 356 millimeter guns, which are effective at dispatching broadside cruisers. Her HP pool is a little low at 51,800 HP, and this is exacerbated by her thin armor. Because of this and her increased speed over other U.S. battleships of 27 knots, I would recommend treating her sort of like a battle cruiser. Now, I know she is not a battle cruiser, but um, yeah, you don't want to get into a big brawling uh, battle with a bunch of other battleships, most of them will be able to overmatch your armor. So, we are going to take a quick look at her modifications, her upgrades, her ammunition, and her consumables, and the ship's captain that I have assigned to her, as all these will affect the stats to come. And before we watch some gameplay, we're going to take a quick look at my service record with this ship as the gameplay may not reflect my overall experience. Now, if you're interested in a chance to win a Florida, stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how to enter. So the Florida is a premium ship, as I stated before. That means you don't have to worry about doing any modifications. It comes fully modified. Upgrades. Slot number one, I took main armaments modification. You don't want to be getting one of your turrets knocked out. That's one third of your firepower, four guns, if it's only one. Slot number two, I took damage control modification. Slot number three, I took main battery modification. And slot number four, I took steering gears. The armament, the ship has HE and AP shells. Consumables, slot number one, damage control party. Slot number two, repair party. Slot number three, defensive AA fire. And in slot number four, you get a choice of spotting aircraft or fighter. I chose fighter because I wanted that little extra boost. This ship has already got pretty good AA and I wanted to increase that a little bit and I have trouble hitting targets at range. So that's my reasoning for taking the fighter. I do see a lot of Floridas out there with the spotting aircraft though. Exterior. We have the Type 10 Florida on the ship. This is my favorite, but there is also a permanent camouflage for this ship. Um, yeah, that's a little much for me. I like more of the historical kind of look on the ship, so I chose this one. These are the signals that I have on the ship. I do have Sierra Mike, so keep that in mind when we go over the stats. Uh, that my speed will be a little bit faster because this is plus 5% to the ship's maximum speed. I'm flying the Military Month Contributor Flag. If you have this flag, you really should be flying it. 5% credits, 5% XP, and 5% Commander XP. You can't beat that. This is a good flag if you got it. The Captain. I have William F. Halsey assigned to this sh ship. And the reason why I put Halsey on this ship is for expert loader. 
he gets 75% faster uh, shell switching when your shells are fully loaded. That means in the Florida here, we can switch from one shell to another if we're already loaded in about eight six, seven, eight seconds. That's really good when you have a ship that has smaller guns and you want to be able to switch to engage a destroyer or set some fires on enemy battleships that are bow on that your 356 millimeter guns will have a very hard time penetrating. So yeah, that's why I wanted uh, Halsey. So I have, he's a 19 point captain for me and this is how I have uh, those 19 points distributed. Priority target, expert loader, and incoming fire alert. Um, are the three tier one skills and these are in no particular order I think I chose this because I just had uh, one point left over tier two skills I have high alert expert marksman and adrenaline rush I have two tier three skills basics of survivability and superintendent and I have one tier four skill fire prevention so that is how I have the ship set up along with the captain. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Concealment as it sits right now. Detectability by sea 13.4 kilometers and by air 10.1 kilometers. Now you can get this detectability down more if you want to be able to sneak up and maybe ambush some cruisers. but. Um, I'm usually firing pretty much when my guns are reloaded anyway, so you're detected out to the range of your gun. So I find detectability less useful in battleships. Maneuverability, maximum speed 28.4 knots. Turning circle radius 760 meters with a rudder shift time of 12.3 seconds. This ship has an AA defense score of 85. And here is your AA armament. Not going to go over all those. That's a big old list. Artillery. Three times four. 356 millimeter guns is your main armament. The reload on these guns is 33.5 seconds. Tra traverse, as it sits right now, 32.1 seconds. Maximum dispersion, 204 meters. Maximum HE shell damage, 4,750 and maximum AP shell damage 9,500 and it fires out to a range of 18.6 kilometers. Secondary armament 4 times 1 127 millimeters and 6 times 2 127 millimeters and they only fire out to 5 kilometers so trying to spec this ship out for uh, secondaries probably not a good idea. Survivability. Hit points 51,800 with a 26% torpedo protection. Armor layout. So this is the big thing, right? 25 millimeters before end plating. So yeah, that can be overmatched by I think 406 millimeter guns. So yeah. I tried to do some drive-bys or tanking with uh, the Florida and it really didn't turn out well for me at all. So just keep that in mind that 406 millimeter guns will be overmatching you and you got 356 millimeter guns. You won't be overmatching them most of the time. So yeah, let's take a quick look at my service record in this ship. Is this the Florida? Yes it is. So I've played 31 battles and I have a 58% win rate. Um, average results per battle. Warships destroyed 1.2. Aircraft destroyed 10. That's really surprising. Uh, damage to ships 70,650. XP 2007. Uh, yeah. Most per battle warships destroyed four. I actually 
had more than this, but test ship results are not um, counted. This is only after the ship was released. Aircraft destroyed 66. Damage to ships 153 threat 153,326 and XP 4,526 which game you think you're getting ready to see yeah why don't we take a look at that game and uh, see how we did in the USS Florida here we go okay so before we get started I'd like to show you what the Florida can do with these 356 millimeter guns doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's glorious. Just watch. Anti aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. <laughs> We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Off to a great start. Ooh, you better believe that's a bad lady. All right, we picked up Trap, and there is a North Carolina, which North Carolina class was supposed to look like the Florida before it was upgunned. Bismarck. King George, Migato, Mitsu. So we're in the middle of the matchmaker here. Mid tier. I think I'm gonna try to support A since I'm over here in this area already. It'll be nice if there are a couple of cruisers that would come over to A that I could work on because if this ship is good at something, now some cruisers can bow tank you. But any cruiser that shows you a broadside is just asking for paddling from Florida so yeah we're hoping we'll see there's only three enemy cruisers so three destroyers three cruisers five battleships and a carrier and the carrier is heading this way Go ahead and launch my fighter. Maybe he can get over there and you know, help support that Denson. I don't know if the carrier's going after the Dallas, maybe. Yeah. Going after the Dallas. And the Perth is out of range. So yeah, he lost the five planes on that. Now, if an enemy carrier wants to sink you and you're in the Florida, he can do it. He's, he's going to pay a price for it, but the carriers have basically like unlimited planes now. I liked it better when they had, you know, a certain number of planes and they could run out, actually enjoyed that better made them choose their targets uh, a little bit wiser but I've had a game where the guy just kept coming I mean he's like it's a Florida I'm gonna sink it and it, he did it took him like I don't know 30 40 planes or something to get me but he got me North Carolina coming this way that's not what I wanted to Ooh, a Dallas Ooh, a Dallas sh showing broadside let's see uh, those were not aimed very well ah Took a hit from the Main North Carolina there. Damage. Luckily, it wasn't worse than that. He was able to shoot over the islands and get me. So 
return the favor. If you hit me for a couple thousand. Enemy destroyer sighted. 3100. Not the best. Now, I have Bull Halsey as the captain on this ship. And I can switch between AP and HE in about 8 seconds. If I'm fully loaded. Had one non-penetration there. Torpedoes dead ahead. And I just dropped down like 29 frames per second. I've been doing that quite a bit more since the update. My computer is only eight years old. thousand on that salvo no citadels but that was still a, a nice salvo need to watch out for the two battleships I'm showing so much broadside to all right I was behind the smoke for a second now they're aiming at me so I'm doing hard right rudder, trying to get my nose in toward them. Oh no! Thinking my rudder's not going back fast. I'm gonna eat this torpedo. Yep. We're taking on water quickly. I wanted to go through that gap once I saw it, but there was no way that I could stop turning and get into that gap so yeah I just ate that torpedo problem solved sir eight thousand on that salvo not too bad not great but the Dallas can I get a hit on the Dallas With the rear turret Nine hundred and fifty. So it looks like we've got the A cap, the Dallas, the Nagato, and the North Carolina are heading back toward the center. Our Dallas, Benz, I was gonna say, uh, our Bayern, our Benson, and uh, Dallas should be able to run off that Kagero, but we did lose one shots out at the Nagato that group looks really good look at that not aimed well but whoo, at least we got a citadel it's nice to see when there's a Bismarck trying to keep this island between the Nagato and the North Carolina and work on this Bismarck Oh, that looks good right there. Eleven thousand. Am I gonna get another shot off, or is he gonna die before I can? I think he might die. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Enemy battleship destroyed. All right. Here comes the Nagato. Let's 
or detected. Seventy two hundred. Luckily, I didn't keep going forward, or I think I'd have really got punished. There's that Dallas. Let's see. Do those look pretty good? I think it's 7,500. Probably should have went for the Nagato again, but he was he was angled, so Yep, he's angled. Is he gonna turn back? Let's try it. Let's see. Is he gonna turn? Probably should have went for the Dallas, but Nine hundred and fifty. Definitely should have went for the Dallas. We got the North Carolina coming through here, though. Ooh, torpedoes! Oh no, Dallas! Turn, baby, turn. Ten thousand. We got a citadel in the North Carolina. Got some return fire coming in. Not aiming quite as low on the North Carolina. Oh, that grouping looks pretty good. There we go. Two Citadels. And if you show your broadside to another battleship in the Florida, that can happen to you. And, you know, even if you're showing like some cheek and stuff, this it's not uh, very well armored, so it's not a big brawler. The Nagato is just out of my range because I have fighter and not uh, spotter, but. have HE loaded in case we see one of these destroyers. There's one right there. Let's see. Oh, one hit. 475. Knocked out an engine. A little bit disappointed with that shot. The Minsk is 14 kilometers away. Torpedoes, direct front. Ooh, there's the Kagero again. Come on, reload. Dang it! 22! 22 health. Okay, we got some bombers coming in. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Reload. Reload. And yes, we got killed. And we took a couple of bombs. Ship is on 
And we're heading into the B cap. No shot on Minsk. He's going behind the island. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. So yeah, this carrier is probably getting ready to focus me since I'm capping this. Captain B. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna keep resetting me. He lost 12 aircraft on that attack run. Is he gonna get another flight over here before? I get this capped out? Yes. I'm detected by aircraft again. AA defense expert, 36 planes shot down so far. All right, the Bismarck has come in with me. Oh, Graspy, shots out. I have no idea what that'll do. Probably hit the island, but all right. Fighter, defensive fire. The King George is on the other side of the island. He's in range, so I may send some shells over there if we can clear this island. Looks like we can. Let's see if those make contact anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert well, looks like he's going for the Bismarck our Nagato is down in A capping it's great And one of our fighters got shot down. Or our fighter got shot down. My fighter. We've got B capped. The Nagato has A capped. I'm thinking about... Ooh. And BB's almost dead. I'm thinking about tucking in behind this island right here. Got the lead, oh, torpedoes on the Bismarck, and seeing if that King George pops out from around here. Oh, Bismarck took some. If that Kaga sinks that Bismarck, it's gonna be close. So, oh, torpedoes away, got them away. Is marked down. We're behind. Oh. I'm unsure. I think I'm going to come up here and go after this King George. The CV is not. going to let us go. We are two points. No, we're ahead. We're ahead. All right. 
point that could have been worse. Oh, he's healed to 15. Ooh. Alright. I would kind of expect him to still be a little bit low. I should have known he was over here healing. Hopefully, he will not go for a ram. Oh, that really hurt. Okay, I think whoever reloads first is going to get this. If he gets to fire again, he's going to obliterate me. There we go. Enemy battleship destroyed. All right. That should seal the deal there. But I could have just as easily went the other way. So, it just happened to work out this time. 25 seconds left. Oh, Kaga's coming back. Get the defensive fire ready. And the sector ready. Let's see if we can knock out one or two more planes. Well, I guess not. But we pulled it off by the hair of our chinny chin chin. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's take a look. 636,095 credits. 7,152 XP. 394 free XP. And the defensive AA expert, or AA defensive expert, I guess I should say. 138,507 damage. 86 target hits. That's the breakdown. 65 aircraft shot down. That's doing pretty good. Three incapacitations. Three ships destroyed. Set two fires, four hits to the Citadel, assisted in a capture, 15 secondary, and lost a fighter. First place on the team. Detailed report. 35,000 on the North Carolina. 34,000 on the Bismarck. 18 on the King George. 30 on the Nagato. 12 on the Dallas. That was the Hail Mary at the Graf Spree. So, yeah, 66 aircraft. That's pretty good. All right. The USS Florida. Let me give you my opinion before I tell you how to enter the giveaway. I like this ship! You know, it's exciting. <laughs> to be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to my channel and your subscriptions must be public so that I can verify your subscriber status. Two, you must leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comments section of this video. An example is on the screen. Give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. Three, you also need to hit that like button. Winner notifications. The winner will receive a response to their comment, notifying them that they were selected. If selected, you will need to reply to that notification within the time specified in the comment, or I will select another winner. So make sure that your YouTube notifications are set up so that you get notifications when someone leaves a reply on your comment. Last but not least, when the contest is complete, I will pin a contest complete comment to the top of the comments on this video with the date of the drawing and the winner's name. No other notifications will be given. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Florida American Tier 7 Premium Battleship. 
If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.